Warm welcome to all my students of grade 5. Today we are going to see a new chapter from your science book. And the name of the chapter is Soil Erosion and Soil Conservation. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Recognize the importance of soil List the ways the soil gets eroded And also to list the methods of soil conservation Plants use nutrients in the soil to grow and make food all animals depend on plants directly or indirectly for food thus soil is very important for life many animals live in the soil rabbits ants and earthworms are some of the examples of animals which make their home in the soil we use several products from the soil to build our homes now let us see how soil is formed soil is formed by the breaking down of rocks into small pieces by a process called weathering weathering can be caused by animals, plants, rain or flowing water, wind and weather changes. The moving water in rivers, for example, carries rocks along with them. As the rocks knock against each other, they break into smaller pebbles. The pebbles finally break into tiny grains of sand over a period of time and also the wind plays an important role in soil formation. As the soil forms, it settles down in layers. The topmost layer is known as topsoil. The topsoil has humus and is fertile layer of the soil. Sometimes the topsoil is carried away by wind or water to a different place. This removes the fertile portion of the soil and hence the land becomes barren. So the process by which the wind or water carries away the soil is called as soil erosion. There are three ways in which the soil erosion can take place. Erosion by water As rain water flows over the land, it carries a part of the soil with it. This results in soil erosion. Soil erosion by water is greater in hilly areas as water flows down faster. Fast flowing rivers, particularly in hilly areas, can cause soil to be eroded from the banks. Thus, the rivers carry more and more soil as they flow down. Erosion can be caused by even the wind. Strong winds can cause the topsoil to be blown away. Particularly in the areas where there is less vegetation to bind the soil. The soil settles where the wind speed is slow. Wind erosion is greatest in dry regions particularly in deserts. Erosion can happen 
due to the activities of humans. The roots of plants hold soil particles together and reduce erosion. Human activities have reduced plant cover and caused an increase in soil erosion. Here are some reasons for soil erosion. Deforestation overgrazing and soil cover. Now let us see in detail about the reason for soil erosion. Humans have cleared forest to build farms, cities, factories, roads and for their requirements of wood. This leaves the land bare of vegetation and increases soil erosion. Plowing leaves the soil loose which might lead to the soil being eroded easily. Overgrazing by cattle exposes the soil by removing the plant cover. This causes an increase in soil erosion. After a crop is harvested and before the next crop is sown, the soil remains bare. The soil can be easily eroded by wind and water. To prevent this, farmers either grow grass or cover the land with dry vegetation. The protection of soil against soil erosion is known as soil conservation. Here are some of the methods to control soil erosion. Afforestation, shelter beds, terrace farming and building embankments. Planting trees or afforestation is very effective in preventing soil erosion, especially in hilly areas. Grass grown on slopes prevent soil erosion caused by water flowing down the slopes. Growing hedges or trees along the edges of farmland as windbreakers reduces soil erosion by reducing the speed of the wind. Along the slopes of hills, farming is done by cutting steps in the slopes. This automatically reduces the speed of water as it flows down, thus reducing soil erosion. The soil eroded from one step is deposited on the next step. This further reduces the loss of soil. Rivers constantly erode the soil on their banks. Strong embankments of rocks and soil are also called as bunds, which can be built along the banks to prevent the soil erosion. High bunds can be used to prevent erosion of soil on land by preventing flooding. Hope you all enjoyed the lesson Soil Erosion and Soil Conservation. If you like my presentation, 
you can subscribe like share and comment thank you